How did you come to work with director Davis Guggenheim on Still? First of all, I was flattered that Davis had read the books. The message of, of just wake up the next day and carry on resonated with him. And so he started to talk about what it could possibly be. And I said, I didn't want to do standard, you know, kind of chronological biography. And he said, no, he had something else in mind. And I said, what is it? And he said, I have no idea. I just related to the way he looked at life. And he said, when he does a biography, he either really likes the person or doesn't like the person. He said he didn't know me yet. I said, oh, great, cool. Let's figure it out. Hopefully, whatever it is, whether you like me or hate me, it'll be with the degree of passion that produces art. What did it mean to be still? I wouldn't know I was ever still. In order to support the narrative, they found the similar narratives in my film career and laid it out so that it could have been shot uniquely to support that that idea, that point of view, or that point in the story, it was just really clever. And, and the fact that it's really astounding is they did it so well. And the thing that's really astounding is that Mike, the editor, and the archivist and stuff went through years and hours and decades of my like, crap. I can't believe they did that. And it really gave me an appreciation for the films I've done. Not necessarily my role or my, my contribution, but just, just the people that I work with. It's astounding. I want this job, I can do it. Whatever the exception is, I can fix it. I can be older, I can be taller. I can be anything. Did making Still with Davis unearth something about your life that surprised you? Um, yeah, I think I got a deeper appreciation. I always got this and I was careful to mention it and, 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 and it helps my marriage when I bring it up, is that how much Tracy sacrificed for me. And early on, even before I had Parkinson's, she sacrificed a tremendous amount. She sacrificed for a very kind of nascent career. He said, were you ever a jerk? And I said, early on, I said, I, I am a jerk. I continue to be a jerk. I, uh, and he said, nobody did really get to you, the, the, how famous you were and how powerful you were. And I said, yeah, I'm afraid it did. And I'm afraid there, I don't know the moments you'll find that, that, that evident, make that evident, but, but I did, I was a jerk. And he found this great footage of me talking to the writers. I just loved because it's just, just, you just want to slap me. <laughs> it's like, shut up, sit down, have a Diet Coke and relax and sit in the corner. What came out of that attitude and that kind of boorishness was meeting Tracy. There's a scene in the movie where she walked in after lunch and I, I could smell garlic. So I said, would you have scampi for lunch, babe? And she just looked at me and lit up a, a, a litany of swear words in my direction. Um, just because she, she, she couldn't believe how rude I was. And I didn't get it. I thought, I deigned to make a joke at your expense. Be joyful, be happy. It doesn't happen to many people that I, that I, that I cast my, my magic on. I mean, it was out of my mind. And then the second thing I thought was, I didn't marry this girl. She's, she's amazing. So this girl comes into my life and I said, by the way, you are on the road to ruin. And I, I'm going, she was leaving the show. She, she had done her commitment. And so it was this strange thing, because she was kind of saying, I have to leave now. I probably want to see you again, but you're killing yourself and you're destroying your life. And have fun. And, and I was sitting in my Ferrari in the parking lot at Paramount. She was next to me in a rental Volkswagen. It was just that moment captured. And he managed to find this material that supported it and told that story. Uh, it was really, uh, so this is the things when I saw the film, it really captured me. And I said, he really got that moment beyond my understanding of it up to this point. I woke up and I noticed my pinky. Auto animated. Parkinson's disease. When everything went crazy, went sideways with the diagnosis, I had an opportunity that, that, that I was like, wait a minute. I mean, I'm getting letters from people with Parkinson's saying, I'm oh, glad you have Parkinson's. And people in my family say, that's terrible. I say, that's the best thing I've ever read. That's the most honest, cool reaction, like, in, like sane reaction from these people. They're saying, God help us. So I, we're, we're stuck here and, and you have this opportunity. And I recognize it right away. I said, I have a chance to, 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 to not for me, but, but, but you don't often get chances like this to, 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 to use what you've been given or, been, or, 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 or in reclaiming what's been taken, move ahead and, and do something important. And that has to this point been the big gift in my life. My, the gift in my life beyond my family, which is the, obviously the most important thing. 
But beyond my career, beyond all that stuff, this is an opportunity to, to make a difference uh, in the lives of people with Parkinson's. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Doc. Uh, are you telling me that you built a time machine out of a DeLorean? I would think that Back to the Future is my most overappreciated book. I found this new thing where I've just thrown my arms around these um, fan fests. I never did before. I used to always kind of look at them a little scans. And then I went to one and I, I I said to the people at, at the q and I said, I thought I was doing this for you. <laughs> they said, this is totally for me. This is a pig out for me of how much these people have given me and how much they've given me in my life. And what? And, and they, they still hang on and they still show up and they want to stand for four hours to take a picture of me. Um, and that's amazing. And I always credit Chris with this, that all the exposition in that film, Chris did that. He did it in the most astounding way. Come here. I'll show you how it works. All right. First, you turn the time circuits on. This readout tells you where you're going. This one tells you where you are. This one tells you where you were. He just laid it all out. If we were in like 30 seconds, he laid out the, the, the space-time continuum. And you just go, like, how did he do that? Just really uh, an incredible film. The sad sack story is Michael J. Fox gets this debilitating disease and it crushes him. Yeah, that's boring. How do you stay optimistic? I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know. I, I, I but I just do, and I, I wake up every day, and I'm, 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 I'm happy for the day. And I had, I had a real tough time the last year and a half. I, I won't lie to you. I mean, I, I got into what might be called depression. I never had, had fully diagnosed it, but, I, but here's, here's a possibility for, an argument for depression. I broke this shoulder. Had it replaced. I broke this elbow. I broke this hand. I had an infection that almost cost me this finger. I um, I broke my face. I, I did a lot. Of, I broke this this humor, um, and and that sucked. But I was still okay. I was still ha happy to join the day and, and be a part of life. And so, I I just I just enjoy the little math problems of life. I just I just enjoy waking up and figuring that stuff out, and and, and at the same time being with my family. I hope that, and I feel that, I won't break as many bones tomorrow. <laughs> so that's optimistic. I mean, it's just, I don't know, I just, I, I just want to, I just want to give up. I, I enjoy life, and I enjoy my family, and like, who'd have thought this would happen? That, that this, this wonderful attention that the film's getting, and through the film, people hopefully will, 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 I mean, I've had a lot of messages from people saying that they have a new positivity, or they have a new way of looking at things. And I don't take credit for that, but, but, I, but I love that it may have been a part of whatever led them to that. 